Hi, Victory. This is Mr. Che. I'm just trying to, um, I'm sorry for the late um, response uh, for your quadratic. And I just want you to kind of understand a few things about quadratics. And I think we'll be good. Okay. Um, this is more of a review assignment. And I want you to kind of remember what you did in the past. Um, so I'm going to share some things here. Uh, first of all, um, I'm going to go to the Desmos calculator here. Okay, if we go here, I'm going to share with you um, the difference between a linear function and a quadratic function. Okay, so if I have y equals 3x plus 2, notice right away that this is a line. That's why it's called a linear equation. Okay, and what makes this a linear equation? Well, the highest power, so you see that x, x is to the first power, right? And y is to the first power. And so if, it's, if you have an x and a y, and the highest power is one in the equation, then it's gonna be a line. So even if you have, let's say, y equals two, okay, it's a line, it's a horizontal line, right? But notice that with y equals two, right, the highest power of that equation is one, it, right, is one because y to the, this is y to the first power. Okay, so the powers really matter here. Okay, so again, x to the first power, that's the highest power. y to the first power, that's the highest power. So again, if your highest power to any variable is one, then it's, it's gonna be a linear equation. So x equaling five, let's say, okay? That's a vertical line, right? Okay, and so notice that with linear equations too, you have either an x or an y, or you have just an y or just an x. Okay, so I hope that you remember. Um, um, if you don't, that's fine, but it's just kind of reviewing some of the Algebra 1 concepts like slope-intercept form, uh, standard form, point-slope form. Um, so I'm hoping that this project will kind of bring some of that back with you, okay? But now let's notice here. Let's notice that, let's just say if I did y equals x to the second power plus let's say 3x plus 4, okay? Notice now it's not a line anymore, right? It's called a parabola, all right? And a parabola pretty much is an arc, right? It's, it either points up, and if I make this negative, it points down, okay? And there are different parts to a parabola. So if the highest power is to the second power, Okay, it's going to be a parabola. Okay, and that's called a quadratic. All right. Now, there are a few things about a parabola that you really need to know. First, it's this thing called the vertex. Now, what is a vertex? It's the point where the, tr the change happens. So, if I'm starting here, right, and I'm going all the way up, notice that at this point, it starts to go back down. Okay, that point is called the vertex. Okay, so it's not either in this case, because the parabola is pointing down, this is called the, the maximum, it's the highest point. If, if it was pointing up, this would be the lowest point, which would be the minimum. Okay, so what I want you to do during this time is I want you to find the vertex. Okay, I want you to find the vertex and be able to graph these parabolas. Okay, all right. Also, another thing to remember, okay, is, and if you kind of get the big, I'm just trying to get you to have the big picture with quadratics, is they may ask you, what is the solution? Okay, what is the solution to this quadratic? They, they may ask you to solve the quadratic. Okay, whenever they ask you that, okay, um, it's where the parabola hits the x-axis. So in this case, you see how it's at negative one, zero? Well, the solution would be negative one and positive four, okay? So I'm hoping that you under, you're starting to understand that, okay? So there's, th there's two things that I really want you to know in quadratics. One is where the vertex is, okay? And the second is what, what are the solutions? So the solutions are when, the parabola, where does the parabola hit the x-axis? So that's what you're trying to find. 
okay? And so, um, I don't know if you remember how to do factoring, the quadratic formula, um, the completing the square. I don't know if those things kind of ring a bell. If it, if you, if it doesn't, don't worry about it. We'll go, we're going to go over that later in the course anyway. But um, those are ways, factoring, quadratic formula, um, completing the square. Those are ways where you could find the solutions here. Okay, but for the sake of this assignment, what I really want you to focus on is how to find the vertex. Okay, all right, so I'm going to switch over to my whiteboard here. Okay, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you a quadratic equation. So a quadratic equation, remember, is any equation to the set. The highest power is the second power. So if I have x to the second power plus 4x plus 4. Okay, all right. So this is a quadratic equation, all right. And in this quadratic equation, notice that it is in standard form. And so forms really matter too. You have to recognize like the different forms. Okay, and so this is, this is standard form. Notice also that the number in front of the x squared is the a, the number in front of the x is the b, and the number that sits by itself is the c. So a is equal to one, b is equal to four, and c is equal to four. I hope that you understand that. Okay, so when y is by itself and everything is on one side of the equal sign, the number in front of the x squared is the a, the number in front of the x is the b, and the number that stands by itself is the C. All right, so what we're trying to do is we're trying to find the vertex, all right? And they give you this formula, X is equal to negative B over 2A, okay? So now how do we, so we plug these numbers in. So plug this number in here. So it would be negative and then four, right? Because the B is four over two times one, right? Because the one is the A. So that equals what? Negative four over two, which is equal to negative two. So what this formula tells you is the X value of the vertex, okay? And what you need to now do is, once you get that, you need to find the Y value of the vertex because you already have the X. So what do you do? You plug the negative two in to this equation so that you can find the Y, all right? So we have y is equal to negative two squared plus four times negative two plus four. Okay, this is four, right? Minus eight, right? Because four times negative two is negative eight plus four, right? So that's what four minus eight is negative four plus four that equals so zero. So in this case, the vertex is two zero, negative two zero, okay? So here it is right here, negative two and zero. Now what we wanna do is, remember it's gonna be a parabola, right? It's gonna be shooting up. And since the A is positive, the parabola is gonna be pointing upwards. Okay, if the A was negative, it would be pointing downwards. Okay, so we know that here's a vertex and it's gonna point upwards. So what we wanna do is, from the vertex, we want to choose an x value, right? <clears throat> so that we know where the graph's going to go. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose a value one to the right and one to the left. Now, why am I doing that? Because I know that this is the mid, this is the midpoint right there. So I'm going to choose a point right and left of the vertex. So I'm going to choose a negative one and negative three. Okay. So if I choose that for the X values, what's the Y value gonna be? Well, I'm gonna plug those numbers in here. So it'll be what? Negative one squared plus four times negative one plus four. Okay, so one squared is one minus four, right? Because four times negative one is minus four plus four. These cancel out. So what's it gonna be? So the Y value is gonna be one. Okay, so we have one, one. 
And then I, well, I'm gonna plug in negative three. So negative three squared plus four times negative three plus four. This will be nine minus 12 plus four. That's going to be positive one as well. So it's gonna be one. Okay. And notice that since you have this, you have the parabola and it's gonna keep going this way and this way. Okay, so if you could grab any equation, any quadratic equation and graph it for me using the vertex and then using what we just did here, okay, you will get credit for that project. Okay, and I hope that helps. Okay, so what I would like, maybe I'll give you an equation for you to do. So let's go with y is equal to x squared um, minus, let's say, uh, six X um, minus let's see, 12. Let's go with, I'm gonna erase this right here. I go 12 here. Oops. Let's go 12 and then four X. Okay. All right. So why don't you graph this, okay? And once you graph this, find the vertex, find the points, and you are good to go, all right? And let me know too, where, if you could try to find out where does the graph hit the x, inter x axis? What are the x intercepts, okay? So if you could do that for me, that would be great. And then, the, you'll, and then plus you have to also do the linear equation portion. Once you do that, you should be good to go, all right? Um, if you need any more help, please, please, please feel free to ask me. All right. Have a good day.